Pinhead, the Hell Priest, the Pope of Hell, the Cold Man, the Engineer, the Lead Cenobite. This sadomasochist is a true creep who shook the movie villain game up when he started surfacing in the 1980s. Luckily, the body mod menace isn't real, but what if he was? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that looks to examine a multitude of queries from science, history, politics, and pop culture. I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate, and today I'm asking, what if Pinhead was real? Before we get into this sadomasochistic spook of a video, I want to ask you guys a would you rather. Would you rather date Pinhead and everything that that involves, or date Slenderman? Imagine them as Mrs. Pinhead or Slender Woman if that helps in any way. Slenderman with all those tentacles, but Pinhead, I mean, he'll cut you up. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Pinhead is the chief Cenobite from the Hell Razor series. If he were real, it would also mean that the Cenobite race were real too. The Cenobites are former humans that have been morphed by ritual mutation. They live in a religious cult called the Order of the Gash, in a different hellish dimension. If this race was real, then this would mean that not only are multiverses real, but there are whole new races of sentient beings out there, with whole separate religions. Professor Stephen Hawking was right on the money. Cenobites harvest human souls for ritual mutation. They use sexual experimentation and torture to push sensation to the maximum in order to find a true hedonistic way of living. If Pinhead and his gang were real, you basically wouldn't want to meet them, unless you wanted to have your skin peeled off anyway. I kind of like mine, I'd rather keep it where it is. Although that being said, there probably are people out there that enjoy being sexually tortured, so maybe they would seek out the Cenobites. Would they then become one? Pinhead started out as a human suffering from post-traumatic stress following World War One. Previously called Captain Spencer, he took part in the Battle of the Somme. The soldier became shell-shocked and disillusioned. After the war, he began testing taboos and eventually came across the Lament configuration box. When he solved the puzzle of this box, he was transported to the Cenobite dimension and turned into one of them, and his face was cut into squares and adorned with pins in his skull. This must mean that humans can become Cenobites. Let's take a moment to digest that. While the Cenobites realm seems a lot like hell, would some humans actually want this? Possibly, although they wouldn't be able to take it back, so would we stop them? For those of us not comfortable living as part of a sexual religious cult or being experimented on to the point of the highest physical torture, we might fancy, you know, not running into Pinhead and his cronies. If Pinhead was real and we knew about him, it might be the explanation behind a number of disappearances. If we knew about Pinhead, I'm sure that a team of armed and trained professionals would be unleashed to try and seek him out and obtain the Lamentation Configuration Box. The box seems to be the key to alternate dimensions. It is not safe in the hands of Pinhead, who uses it to find human experimentation subjects. To stop the Cenobites traveling dimensions and stealing humans, we should seek and destroy the box. Although, if it is the key to another dimension, I wonder what else it unlocks. There are so many wider implications with this box here, such as time and space travel. It would need to be bestowed into trusted scientific hands for experimentation and guarded with the greatest force. Another huge huge question we would need to ask if Pinhead were real would be, does this mean that Lucifer, the Devil and the Leviathan are real? They are all mentioned in Hellraiser, and if that is true, if Hell is the dimension that the Cenobites live in and we can travel there using the configuration box, could we then, in theory, destroy Hell? Could we access other dimensions, like say, Heaven, which opens up a whole new world of possibilities? The Cenobites managed to outwit Sherlock Holmes in a story which really does make me worry for the rest of us. I have to say, those involved in capturing the configuration box and Pinhead would need to be very brave and very well paid. The Hellraiser series paints him as a formidable and morally reprehensible enemy, and unlike a lot of horror movie foes, he is presented as intelligent. What is scarier than a brutal killer? A brutal killer with a brain. So what would you guys do if Pinhead was real? Let me know in the comments section down below. Do you think we could outsmart him, and if so, how would we go about doing it? He's a blooming creep, isn't he? I wonder if we could ram his face into something and get those pins to pierce through his brain. Too much? Honestly, probably not enough. Again, don't forget to let me know who you'd rather date, Pinhead or Slenderman, whatever gender you prefer to imagine them as. I honestly want to know, because let's get creepy here. Also, while you're down there, why don't you like this video and share it with a friend. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Life's Biggest Questions. I'm your host, Rebecca Felgate. I'll catch you in the next video, but until then, stay curious, stay alert, and never ever stop questioning. Thank you.